When Dale called me and, and, and told me I was the icon for 2013, I started crying. And I'll tell you why. I, uh, I live, eat, sleep, and breathe songs. It's all I've ever done. It's all I ever loved to do. And I got so many people to thank here tonight that, that made this possible because it, it darn sure ain't all about me. It's about my family, my mama, and my sisters, my sons, my daughters, my beautiful wife, Susie. It's about my God that I love. It's about Frank Dykus, and it's about Hank Cochran and Harlan Howard. And it's about this wonderful thing called country music. Tom Collins, I want to thank you for taking a chance on me. so many years ago. Jerry Bradley, God love you. Charlie Pride, thank all of you. You know, I hear a lot of uh, some disgruntlement going on with what's going on in country music in today's world. And there's a box. And there's some cowboys out there kicking the sides down on it right now. And stretching the boundaries and pushing the limits and putting new twists and turns on it. And they go out there and they play every night to these thousands and thousands of people. And they sing their songs to their generation. And that's what it's all about. Hell, I wish they'd cut some <laughs> traditional stuff every once in a while. <laughs> There's still some of us old cowboys out there writing that stuff. We kind of know what it's about. We've been around the block, and I know what's around the corner, don't you, Dale Dodson? I want to thank Buddy Cannon. A lot of good years together. Chesney, brother, can you believe this hillbilly stuff we've done? Unbelievable. Two old boys from East Tennessee do make their mamas proud and do good. You know, but seriously, the BMI family, I... I picked up a country song roundup magazine when I was 14 years, 13, 14 years old, and I'd go through there and look at those songs and read that lyric, and, and down at the bottom of it, it'd have BMI. And I thought, what in the world is BMI? Who, what's BMI? <laughs> I didn't know no better. When I was 16, as an old boy put 10 grand into me and, and flew me to Nashville, and I cut my first record here with with Lloyd Green when I was 16 years old, and Roy Husky Sr. And unfortunately, Roy Husky, was, he was going to be my point man, and he passed away about six months after I did my session, so we didn't get the ball off the ground too far that time. But I found out what BMI was, and I signed with him. And first time I met Fritz, Francis Preston, I thought, man, what a great lady that is. You know, you don't meet those kind of people every day. And there's one more person out. When I was a kid, and I was sleeping in that coal bin over there on 18th Avenue under Royal American Records, and I met Dacus that day, and he said, you got anywhere to stay? And I said, no, man, I ain't got no money, and I ain't 
you know, I, he said, well, there's a coal bin here you can sleep in. We got a blanket in there if you want to. And I said, well, hell yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> Better than nothing. And uh, next door was uh, NSAI. And there's a lady by the name of Maggie Cavendish. And uh, I used to go up and play her all these terrible songs. <laughs> and she'd listen to them. And she'd tell me, just keep writing, keep writing. <laughs> you know what? Uh, Troy Tomlinson, thank you. <laughs> Mike Whalen. I was with A. Cuff Bros for 20 some years and then Sony and, and uh, Kaz Horry, Butch Baker, thank you all. I still need a dollar or two every now and then. Don't hurt nothing. Man, I'll tell you what, I was. Sitting down there with George, looking up here tonight at these first-time BMI Song Award winners. How about that? How about that crop? Right on. And in the immortal words of Hank Cochran, isn't this wonderful? <laughs> Thank you all. God bless you.